Welcome everyone to the audio version of every territorial anomaly in the Americas explained. This isn't just the original video turned into audio form, I changed the script where necessary and re-recorded everything. Also I added more information where the lack of a visual makes it necessary, so I suppose you can consider it a slightly revised version. With that out of the way, enjoy! Bahu Nuevo Bank is a small uninhabited reef disputed between Nicaragua, Colombia, Jamaica and the United States. In 2001 Nicaragua filed an application against Colombia to the International Court of Justice. The court agreed to hear the case because although the 1928 treaty between the two established what was whose territory, the court concluded it wasn't clear enough, so they had jurisdiction in this case. The court concluded that Bajo Nuevo Bank shall remain in Colombia's sovereignty. It did not take into account the claims of Jamaica or the United States though. Jamaica de facto recognized Colombia's sovereignty over the islands, but that expired in 1986. Since 1994, Jamaica and Colombia jointly exploit the resources in the area, although Colombia still has full control over the waters near the islands, as they consider it their territorial waters. The United States claimed the islands under the Guano Islands Act in 1869, in which the US claimed a bunch of islands with bird shit on them. No, I'm not joking. Ever since the United States considers Bajo Nuevo Bank an unincorporated, unorganized territory, that means nobody lives there and the constitution doesn't apply there. But if you want to know more, I suggest watching American Empire by CGP Grey. Conejo Island is an island disputed between Honduras and El Salvador. I wasn't able to find much on this topic, only that the International Court of Justice settled the border between the two countries, but they left Conejo Island unmentioned, so the island is in limbo. Navassa Island is an island claimed by Haiti but administered by the United States. The US claims the island based on the Guano Islands Act since 1857. Haiti claims its constitution of 1801 included Navassa Island in other adjacent islands. Haiti also maintains that the Treaty of Ryswick in 1697, which defined French possessions on Hispaniola, included Navassa, despite Navassa not being named in the treaty. If you were wondering, Navassa Island is also an unincorporated, unorganized territory according to the United States. And Haiti's current constitution does mention that they claim this island. The Sapodilla Cays are an uninhabited atoll disputed between Belize and Honduras. This dispute also went to the International Court of Justice, but a ruling is yet to be made. On the 1st of December 2023, Guatemala issued a request to intervene in the case, as by virtue of claiming some Belizean territory, it also claims the Sapodilla Cays. Serranilla Bank is a partially submerged reef disputed between Colombia, Honduras, Nicaragua and the United States. This is very similar to Bajo Nuevo Bank as the US claims it as an unincorporated unorganized territory, Colombia claims it as theirs, Nicaragua claims it in the same ICJ case, but instead of Jamaica, Honduras also claims it based on Article 10 of their constitution. Belize is a country in Central America, around 53% of which is claimed by its southern neighbor, Guatemala. Yes, you heard that correctly, Guatemala claims half of Belize. It used to claim all of Belize, so I guess that's an improvement. Although the exact claims are considered to be state secrets by the Guatemalan foreign minister. Guatemala cites Clause 7 of the Anglo-Guatemalan Treaty of 1859, which obligated the British to build a road from Belize City to Guatemala, but it never happened. That's gotta be one of the weakest claims I've ever seen. One road didn't get built. Both countries' people voted to take the matter to, you guessed it, the International Court of Justice. Guatemala had until the 8th of December 2022 to reply and Belize until the 8th of June 2023 to submit their reply. Currently there is no ruling on this dispute either. Machaya Seal Island is an island and North Rock is a rock disputed between the United States and Canada. I also haven't been able to find anything on this topic. The ICJ made a ruling in the 80s, but it wasn't comprehensive enough to me to answer which country they belong to. 
There are also more disputes between the two countries, but they are different in my opinion. If you want to research them, I put the Wikipedia link in the description of the original video. Guyana is a country in South America, about two-thirds of which or everything west of the Essequibo River is claimed by Venezuela. The dispute was inherited from the colonial overlords, those being Spain for Venezuela and the Netherlands and the United Kingdom for Guyana, and the situation has been complicated ever since Guyana gained independence from the UK in 1966. Suriname also claims a chunk of Guyana's territory, but the Venezuelan claim was in the new spotlights in 2023. They took the matter too. Say it with me. The United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, who took it to the International Court of Justice, which hasn't made a ruling as far as I'm aware. Venezuela had until the 8th of March 2023 to reply to Guyana's reply. Arroyo de la Invernada is the stream that's supposed to separate Brazil and Uruguay as per the 1851 Boundary Treaty, but the two countries disagree on which stream is called that. There is a village nearby by the name of Masoler with a population of around 240. It is effectively in Brazilian control but is undisputedly in Uruguay. The Falkland Islands, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands are islands heavily disputed between Argentina and the United Kingdom. How disputed you ask? So much that Argentina invaded the islands in 1982. Argentina characterized the military operation as a reclamation of its territory as it claims the islands because in their view they inherited them when they got independence from Spain in 1816. Then British settlers showed up in 1833 and they have remained in British hands ever since. Well, except for that war I was talking about that lasted about three months. Argentina surrendered and their military government soon collapsed. In 2013, there was a vote held on whether they should remain a British territory, and 99.8% of the people were in favor of it. As for South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands, Argentina claims them because an Argentinian whaling company leased some land on them for the British who were there earlier. The UK tried to take the matter to the International Court of Justice four times, but Argentina declined. Then they did take it to the ICJ, but Argentina refused to cooperate, citing a lack of jurisdiction. I recommend you watch Oversimplified's video on the Falklands War, link in the description of the original video. French Guiana is an overseas department of France, some of which is disputed with Suriname. Suriname claims the border lies west of the Marouini River and not the Litani River, where it de facto is right now. Tigri is an area disputed between Suriname and Guyana. It has been disputed for the last 160 years and it became really tense in 1969. Since then it has been controlled by Guyana but they agreed to diplomatically resolve the issue and recall their military from the area but Guyana hasn't acted upon this. Isla Brasileira, literally Brazilian island, is an island in a river and disputed between Brazil and Uruguay. Neither side has shown interest in claiming the island though. Isla Suarez is an island in a river and disputed between Brazil and Bolivia. It is under Bolivian administration but depends on a Brazilian city nearby economically. There are about 80 islands that aren't assigned to either country in the river in addition to Isla Suarez. Belize is a country in Central America, around 53% of which is claimed by its southern neighbor, Guatemala. Yes, you heard that correctly, Guatemala claims half of Belize. It used to claim all of Belize, so I guess that's an improvement. Although the exact claims are considered to be state secrets by the Guatemalan foreign minister. Guatemala cites Clause 7 of the Anglo-Guatemalan Treaty of 1859, which obligated the British to build a road from Belize City to Guatemala, but it never happened. That's gotta be one of the weakest claims I've ever seen. One road didn't get built. Both countries' people voted to take the matter too. 
you guessed it, the International Court of Justice. Guatemala had until the 8th of December 2022 to reply and Belize until the 8th of June 2023 to submit their reply. Currently there is no ruling on this dispute either. And that is it for the Americas. So, what have we learned today? That the Americas are more chill with territorial disputes than Africa and the International Court of Justice cares about them, unlike the African ones. And that if people hundreds of years ago wrote treaties more clearly, most of these wouldn't exist today. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and feel entertained and informed right now. Thank you for listening all the way through and if you're curious about the disputes in the other continents, go listen to those episodes as well.